Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Sharon K. Griffin, aka Madam Butterfly. Yes, I hope that you are flapping your wings. Yes. So I wanted to come on here and talk to you about toxic relationships. Let me tell you, let me tell you, I have seen so many videos of toxic relationships over the weekend, right? And, and, and I also received information from a gentleman where he said that relationships amongst young people don't last more than a month. That's an issue, okay? That is a serious issue. However, it might be good because you don't want to be in a toxic relationship, okay? But, 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 let's dive in. A toxic relationship is an unhealthy relationship, a relationship that's not good for your mind, your body, and your soul, okay? So I just want you to know that, so we're flapping our wings right there, okay? Because you want to be in a healthy, healthy, healthy relationship. I am so tired of seeing young men unalive young women especially in the black community okay no something is not right somewhere so we have a problem of ownership right a lot of young men believe that they own these women and no sir you don't own her okay you did not birth her you don't own her and her parents don't even own her god owns her okay um however i want to say this that you need to heal, right? You need to heal. Um, because anytime you believe that you own someone, and this goes for male and female, because there's just as many toxic females as there are men, okay? So you need to heal. And I'm going to continuously talk about healing because heal people heal people, right? Heal people help people but hurt people hurt people, okay? So I just wanna get that out there. So, 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 Montanae Davis was a young lady who was just unalived by her ex because she moved on um, with a, another gentleman that they quote unquote say was like Russell Wilson where he treated her phenomenally. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. The fact is that she was unalived by her boyfriend. Second thing, I actually saw a young lady, a video of a young lady where she went to the mall and she ran into her husband and his very pregnant mistress. Toxic. So she went after the woman as opposed to going after the man where the man was the common denominator. Go figure, right? No, ladies, when your your significant other disrespects you with another woman, you need to deal with him and not her unless you know her. I'm just saying, okay? But toxic relationships are unhealthy relationships. And those two examples are um, toxic relationships. And I have to tell you, I have been in lots of toxic relationships, okay? A toxic relationship will strip you of your dignity, your self-esteem, your self-worth, um, will make you lose weight, will make you question who you are as a person, um, will make you do the unthinkable, which could be unalive yourself, right? And Montanae Davis was struggling with that um, based on her videos, okay? Based on solely her videos, I did not know her, okay? But if you go to her TikTok and you see her videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. And she was talking about drinking her pain away. I get it. Matter of fact, Solange has a song about dancing your pain away, drinking your pain away, etc. People do so many things, take drugs, um, to not feel that pain in a toxic relationship. So my toxic relationships, for me, 
um, were heart wrenching. And I tell you, I remember times where I would just be sitting on the floor of the shower, just crying and asking God, why me? Right? Why me? Why do I have to go through this? But the truth of the matter is you don't have to go through it. You can leave. We choose to stay. So we need to ask ourselves, why do we choose to stay? Because the person that you're in the toxic relationship with, they're doing what they know to do. They've been doing this for forever to so many other people and you're just one of the other people, right? So they're doing what they do. So we have to ask ourselves, I had to ask myself, for real, for real. Why the hell did you stay so long? That's a flap your wing moment. Flap your wing. Yes, honey, flap your wings, butterflies. So you stayed because you chose to stay. There was something deep within you that made you feel compelled to this person. So whether it was spiritual, right? Their energy, right? Because you attracted that type of energy. I attracted that type of energy, right? So whether it was that type of energy, whether that person was spending a lot of money on you, it was something in that relationship that kept you there. And that could even be the children. Yeah, the children. A lot of people stay in unhealthy relationships, male and female, because of the children. They don't want the children to be raised in a one parent home because they were raised in a one parent home. But the truth of the matter is a one parent home is actually better than a toxic home. I know when I got out of my 16 year marriage um, to the preacher, my children asked me, why did you stay? Why did you stay? And to be honest, the only answer that I could give is what was because, and this is so messed up, is because I didn't want to displease God. See how, hmm, how, what word can I use? How dumb that is, how dumb it sounds. Because once I got out of that relationship and I began to question myself, I was like, God don't want us to be in unhealthy relationships. A God that loves you don't want you to be in an unhealthy relationship. Why would he create you to make you go through all this pain when you have a choice to get out? There's a lot, a lot, a lot of educated women, right? Boss women, entrepreneurs, doctors, CEOs, whatever that choose to stay in unhealthy relationships. There's a lot of men who are very successful who can just like leave and, and you know, if they have to pay child support, whatever, they can leave these toxic relationships. But the world has us so accustomed to toxic relationships. And a lot of times we're in these toxic relationships because we saw our parents do it. We saw our grandparents do it. And we think that that's healthy. So, 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 so butterflies, I am going to give you an example, right? The example that I am going to use, and I hope that it helps you is that my oldest daughter actually went to a friend's house, right? When she was younger and she saw the parents like hugging and kissing and happy and all that. And she was like, what is wrong with your parents? Like, why are your parents doing that? And what she later found out and what she just told me maybe a month ago is the fact that, mm, excuse me y'all, the fact that they were in a healthy relationship, her friend's parents, and that me and my ex-husband were toxic. Yes, yes, yes. But she did not know what a healthy relationship was. Oh my God, excuse the tree, y'all. I'm not even going to mess with it. So, yeah, we need to free ourselves 
from toxic relationships for for one us right and then to for our children we don't want our children thinking that certain things are okay when they're not it's not okay to be in an unhealthy toxic relationship and the fact is is that when we're in toxic relationships and we go from toxicity to toxicity to, to toxicity it normally gets worse with each person right until you heal now when you heal and you get into a relationship with a toxic person you're like oh no mm -mm, this isn't for me why because self-love is the best love self-love is the best love when you can love yourself right you have more love for your community the people around you your children your significant other and then you have more love for yourself but when you're depleted of love and you're operating in hurt and pain baby 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 you have nothing to give you don't so you're pouring constantly pouring from an empty cup and this is why it is so important for you, um, for me, and others that we know to heal. Because when we heal, we're whole and we can identify the BS straight up and straight off. We identify the red flags, right? And we're saying, no, we don't want to be a part of that anymore. Mm-mm, mm-mm. And the reason that we continuously enter into those relationships is because we're not healed, right? And when you get in a relationship as an unhealed individual, um, and this person is positive, this person is healed, you don't want to be in that relationship because you're not used to a healed person and you're still hurting so this person who's consistent, who's loving, who's kind, who's not disrespectful, who comes home at night, it's like, oh, he's so boring. I don't want to be with him. The reason you don't want to be with him is because you're not healed and you're used to that toxicity. You're used to that drama. You're used to that hurt. You're used to that pain. And because this you know the consistency the healthy person is unfamiliar you want to go back to that but this is really unhealthy for you it's not good for you it's trauma it's pain it's heartbreaking it's tears so so girlfriend sir it's so important for you to heal right and you're probably saying well how do i heal healing is a choice healing is a mindset everything in life goes back to mindset right so change your mind change you right and choose to heal so whether you heal with a therapist whether you just heal at home by yourself whether you know you heal with someone spiritual whatever it is get the healing that you need that's going to change the trajectory of your life it can happen let me tell you up until age 40 i was like just traumatized i was traumatized i was hurting i was from bad relationship to bad relationship and then i decided look honey look girlfriend you in the mirror you need to heal you keep going around the same mountain getting the same results which is called insanity right i was operating in insanity um until i decided to change until i decided to do something about the life that i had so 40 was my breaking point and 40 was when I decided to leave that unhealthy, toxic relationship because it was not getting me anywhere. It was like I was on a roller coaster. I was up, I was down, I was up, I was down based on how I was being treated. And I, a good person internally, deserve more. 
So I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you understand that the person who's inflicting the pain and the trauma on you, they're doing what they do. But you have a choice as the individual receiving the pain and the trauma and all this. You have a choice to do something about what's happening to you. You, you really do, girlfriend. You really, really do, sir. And you can choose to get out of that relationship and not stay anymore. Yeah, it's going to hurt, especially when you had some years in it, some skin in the game. Yeah, it's going to hurt. But that's okay. Because once you hurt and get through the process, you're going to look back like, why did I stay? What was wrong with me? He was hurting me. She was hurting me. But I chose to stay. And your life is going to be so much sweeter. Let me tell you, once you get through the process, your life is going to change 100%. I'm telling you, your life is going to change 100%, right? Your income is going to change. Your mind is going to change. The people around you are going to change. So let me tell you, right? When you decide to go from that toxic relationship and you heal, you're going to start shedding some people and that's okay. And some of that might even heal, but guess what? It's okay because you're going to be blessed with other people um, who are going in the same direction as you are. So I want to encourage you, my friend, my, my beetle or my butterfly, I want to encourage you to find the strength that you need to get out of the situation that's causing you pain, okay? Those red flags have been waving, okay? That's a flat, flat moment right there. Those red flags have been waving at you, but yet and still you have decided not to get out of that situation. Well, baby, well, sir, it's time. Now is the time for you to experience your best life here on earth. God did not put you on earth for you to be traumatized for the rest of your life. Yes, we go through situations, right? I get it. That's life. But we don't have to go through certain situations. So, 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 I want you to find the strength to say, okay, God, spirit, universe, whatever you call that entity, I want you to find the strength to say, I deserve better than what this person is giving me. I deserve better in my life. I deserve wholeness. I deserve happiness. I, de I deserve strength. I deserve freedom to live my best life. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Once I healed, I started attracting a different type of energy. I started attracting different types of individuals, different types of men into my space. I started attracting men that were actually healed and who were good to me and who were kind to me. And I was okay and happy to receive the goodness and the kindness. Um, and it eventually led me to a beautiful, wonderful marriage that I'm now in. We've been together seven years, five years married, okay? So you might have to talk yourself into your healing, right? If that's what you want. Now, you might want to stay in a toxic relationship um, because it feels good to you. But I'm encouraging you to try to get to the other side because once you do, you're going to feel a whole lot lighter. So this is your girl, Sharon K. Griffin, a.k.a. Madam Butterfly. What I want you to do, okay? I want you to like, subscribe, and share this video so that someone that you know or don't know can get the strength that they need to heal, 
okay? It's just not for you. It's just not for you. I want them to heal too, right? I want them to, to live their best life. I want you to live your best life. Um, so until we meet again, I want to say to you, have a very, very, very blessed day, morning, night, afternoon, wherever you are, right? Because guess what? I change lives and I create experiences and you can definitely live your best life too. This is Madam Butterfly flapping my wings and signing off and just be great. Be great and have a blessed one. And don't forget, of course, to heal.